they're real easy to harvest and they're very brittle. And again, these things grow quick. They grow quick. For years, I just tossed them. I'd break them and drop them. No more. You just take them and I just take my fingers and just get right down at the top of the leaves and just twist them. Just a you know, a lot of people say that these got health benefits. They say they're full of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. And some of them even go to say that they prevent cancer. Of course, everything you read anymore prevents cancer. If that be the case, you'd think there wouldn't be no cancer at all because everything you hear and reads prevents cancer. Probably by now, most people know that you can eat these and the health benefits is great. Anyway, what I do, I take these and wash them and then I'll break them, you know, snap them right in the middle and uh, saute them in an iron skillet. And it don't have to be an iron skillet, but I use iron skillet uh, with butter and uh, season them with salt and pepper and that's about it that's all you need to do and they're delicious I'll show you these the second harvest of these scapes this year and you can see raw they're not uh, They're not too strong. Mm. Well, I prefer them in butter. They're good, I can tell you. But the garlic scapes, what they claim is they lower cholesterol and blood pressure along with uh, having cancer fighting properties. So don't throw them away, they're good to eat. Got a row of, uh, of uh, well, it's a mixture of three rows. We've got some arugula. Uh, out on the end, we've got some kohlrabi and uh, fennel. Got a row of uh, zucchini and watermelon out on the end. Three this row right here is red Russian kale and a row here of Swiss chard, rhubarb chard, and Ford hook chard, a row of Southern Georgia collards, and a row of top pick peas. Uh, I've got one, two, three hills, I think. One, two, three hills that didn't come up. And I'm fixing to solve that problem right here in a minute. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to take me three of these up and and take care of that, uh, take care of those hills over there that didn't come up. I think I'll take this one right here. Just go down there and get below that, and just take it a <coughs> little plant up, just like that. Try to leave a little dirt on the roots where they won't dry out between here and there. And uh, we'll get us three squash plants and we'll go transplant them. You know, this right here is a part that you don't, you don't want to miss. I like to try not to wet the plant. Just let it trickle down around the roots. It, they're already wilting just that quick, these squash plants. And... Uh, just give them some water. Now, we've done all we can do there to them. And they'll do one of two things. They'll live or they won't. Arugula, if you like it, it's good. I like to eat a lot of this stuff that's uh, fresh, fresh. And this is ready to pick. You know, it's been ready for a while. You just take those outer leaves and it's, oh, they're, they're very tender. And just snap them off. 
just like that. They're good, huh? <laughs> Always look for bugs or bug eggs, honey. Very seldom will you ever see any on this stuff. That's for sure. Very seldom. But these are good. A little dirt, huh? They got a odd smell. Some people like them, some don't. Kind of a, well, how to explain it. I'll tell you what it tastes like, arugula. It's uh, got its own flavor, I can't describe it. I wanna say peppery, but it's not peppery. Or I don't think it is. It's got a little, a little bite to it. It really brings the flavor of salads out. You either like it or you don't. I like it. Boyd Watson sitting. Where you at? Are you on that chair or are you on that chair? I'll bring you some arugula when it starts growing good. <laughs>